We're at the Cooper Associates County Ground with the legend that's Dennis Breakwell. Dennis, what's it like to actually be back here as it is now? Oh, I would, I always say, the best way to say it, I'd love to have played here with all this like an amphitheatre around you, everybody's about and all those people watching over there, in mean, a beautiful place to play because it, it was always very confined anyway, but now it seems like it might be a little bit more. It's always been special for you though, hasn't it? Oh. You must have some wonderful memories when you walk in here. What does it make you think of? I think you think of the the seventies, uh, eighties, when you played county cricket against all those great players. Who we had playing for us, how lucky we were to be playing with those great players. You know, so an ordinary bread and butter county cricketer like me, all of a sudden became, shall we say, a, lot, a little superstar playing with those lads, and it was awesome. And during your career, of course, you saw the start of both. Both of them, didn't you? Yeah. Viv, they all came here. Joel. Yeah. I mean, the people who are the big three, but you were there as a player in that group. I mean, what sort of an influence did they have on you and the team when they came in? Well, I mean, they they won games for you. I mean, v, um, Beefy, when he first started, he was a sort of 16-year-old cricketer who was all right. And then he just went and explode into what he became the legend that he is. And we all know, I mean, Vivian Richards, what's the best thing I can say about He put bums on seats. When Viv was batting, we were all watching. Everybody's sitting there watching. And there again with Joel, what did Joel do for us? He probably won us three cups, okay. you know, yeah. which is, and we had all the other players as well, which were all fine, fine cricketers. And the fact that, you had such big crowds in such a nice enclosed ground. Must have made you feel like sort of almost like gladiators out there. Oh, yeah. You you, you go out there and it just awesome, isn't it? The noise around you and I mean the the support we had here was absolutely phenomenal. All I think you've still got it now, but then it's phenomenal. We would come in here and they you know you get a standing ovation on it when you walk out on the field and you haven't played yet. And what about? Do I remember right that there was a dog track around the outside of the ground? Yes, there was a dog track around the you started playing, it was still here, wasn't it? Yes, it was here. Um, I used to live in a, a flat just the other side of the ground, the old supporters club, and I can remember on a Friday night looking outside and seeing them around the back feeding their dogs donuts or giving them a bowl of water to stop them, but it was a what they call a, a flapping track and it was run by old Dave Pipe, but it made the ground so much smaller. There have been lots of changes here, but Remarkably, we've still retained that view, haven't we, out across mm. the, the churches? I mean, that's a bit something a bit special about this ground, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we used to be changed over, over that side and we couldn't really see that. But I can remember looking at this ground and you had big white hoardings all around here with little pieces of concrete with pieces of wood on for people to sit on all the way around the ground and that's all it was and then the, you might get a few um, hay bales coming in for people to sit on then but you know to see what it's got like now is very special. Here we are the Cooper Associates County Ground standing at your favourite end. What, what what was the end you preferred to bowl from? Well this the um, the new pavilion end shall we call it was the end I preferred to bowl from because it it was a bigger boundary straight, that which made it a lot easier. Um, I did have a few um, interesting things happen with the ball to the other end. <laughs> got like I got it for six sixes and six balls by Mike Proctor. Really? But that wasn't in the same over. Oh, but nice. um, that was uh, what. But it was uh, it was not always the case because when 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 we played, obviously we had two spinners in the side, me and Vic, and generally would we would bowl the end, which was best for each of us on that day. And would, I mean, how did they use you in those days as a bowler? Did you come on and bowl through, or were you sort of spaced out, or what? Oh uh, yeah, I think I think with the, shall we say, um, with with the pace attack we had, I mean generally, um, we would come on to bowl when the seamers couldn't get any wickets. Basically, we we would bowl more, you know, um, if if it was a flat wicket and. Seems we weren't getting anybody out, then we would obviously come and bowl your overs 20, 25 overs. You know, they used to say if, if in three day cricket, if the opposition got 300, your left arm spinner would bowl 25, 30 overs. And um, with me and Vic, we used to we get we used to get through a lot of overs, but generally, when you got the likes of Beefy and Joel, you know, you like them to knock a few out early on. When you played, obviously, you were involved with playing 40 over cricket. 
50 over cricket and championship cricket. How did you vary what you were bowling for each of the competitions or did you technically bowl the same or how did it vary? I, th I think I, ch I changed when I bowled Sunday League. I, I tried to bowl a little bit quicker. On saying that, um, I, I used to bowl with the same sort of field. You know, people didn't bat like they bat now. I mean, I could bowl with nearly an orthodox field. If I bowl the ball on a length generally, they would play me pretty well. Whereas now, you bowl the ball on a length, it goes out the ground. So it's just a, a different era, a different game. And, and did you vary what you bowled? Oh, yeah. I mean, you didn't bowl every ball the same. So how, how did they each... So what would an over mix-up be? Well, you bowl a slower ball, you bowl an arm ball, quicker ball, try and bowl an undercutter ball that you, you, you roll your fingers underneath it so it goes on. And um, we didn't bowl things like doosters and things like that. But that was gen generally the um, little bit wider, you know, get a little bit close to the wicket. There's various things you do. Here we are stood in front of the Colin Atkinson Pavilion. When you first came here, this wasn't here, was it? No, it wasn't here in terms of we used to we used to change in uh, the dungeons over the other side, which was uh, used to go upstairs on, on, a, on a very narrow stairway on a very splintery steps and sit in a, a small room and watch the cricket, which was you would say was heaven and history at the time. But it was it was it was different, should we say? And what were the sort of facilities like for you to get changed in? The changing, the stuff. changing facilities weren't very good. There was two showers, but there was a big plunge bath. Right. And if you could get in there quickly, it was it was it was very fortunate because there's all sorts of things, as you know, might go on in plunge baths. But um, there was two showers, which was all right. But it, it was part and parcel of what happened then. You know, that's what we did. I mean, we had Closey as captain, and he would just go in and out when he wanted you know and that's the sort of thing that happened at that time and then when this opened it must have been like going as you say to heaven really wasn't it oh it was it was brilliant but you know you've got a, a beautiful place to watch cricket from you had numerous showers you had single baths you had plunge baths huge changing areas physiotherapist room you know there's everything now although we didn't get injured then but it's it was uh, it was very special this new place and of course, maybe in, now we live in a regime where everybody wants to be extremely fit and healthy. I don't think that was quite the case when you were playing, was it? No, it wasn't quite the case when we were playing. No, we would, um, we would come in and have a net in the morning, a few little bit of field in, and then we'll be getting ready to play. Um, generally, we, um, we were sort of not under order, but we were keep ourselves fit. You know, if you were uh, if you wanted to bowl a lot, you would bowl a lot, and that bowl bowl keep yourself bowling fit. So we're saying batters would just go and have a few throwdowns or a little net, and we'd be away. Not let them play. We wouldn't play football or what they do now. But now there's probably not many smokers in the changing room. If there are any, I'm guessing in your day there were probably a few more. Well, there was a few. The main reason for that was we used to get free cigarettes. <laughs> I know we can't advertise, but the two companies that um, that sponsored the cricket, they 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 throw them at you. You know, it was, it was, I used to smoke a lot. <laughs> and what about afterwards? Where would you repair for a few drinks? We would, we would go and drink with the opposition. If we were away, then they would generally set us a place to go. When we were over in the old pavilion, over the, in, by the church there, we would, we would go in there and have a few drinks with the opposition. When we were here, we'd have a few drinks with the opposition as well. Nothing over the top, but you you would you would talk to the opposition, and you learnt a lot about cricket. But in the bar afterwards, 